I'm finding cases right now. I ain't even finna tell you what the fuck that I'm doing. I ain't gonna let them know because at the end of the day, I don't want I wouldn't want that shit to happen to me. So. So if you're fighting cases right now, are you being careful about what you say in your music? Yeah. 100%. And so th- th- that's got to feel kind of bad, don't it? it? Like, it you can't bad, say what you, you want to say. But at the end of the year, this shit, at the end of the day, it ain't that I can't stop. Nope. It's that I won't stop. Go. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. Change. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co founder. What you want to know about me? I'm so cursed up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up no. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up Check it, I ain't been to the booth in a minute Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning yeah. Who makes him the chief of the south side? Oh my nigga, I'm not a lieutenant When I was in the gym, you wasn't in it uh-uh. Face talks to my windows is tinted yeah. If I said that shit, then I meant it Niggas gave me the rules and I banked it so like- Alright, another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show We got two guests in the building We usually don't do the two guests But we got King Roddy the Great and Quan Quan. So, are y'all from Are y'all from Minnesota originally? You are. You're not. Uh, yeah, I'm originally. I'm from Chicago. Originally. From Chicago. Yeah. Are you still? Do you work out of Chicago? You primarily. Oh, yeah, work? I do both, man. You know, I work. I work out of Chicago, and I work out of uh, Minnesota too. Okay. And y'all are y'all a group or like just a two separate artists working under a label? Man, we just you know what I'm saying. Two you know what I'm saying. Two separate artists working on the label, man, doing our thing. You know. Yeah. So what? So I guess what I'm curious about is like. Um, skip that so let's just start let's just start from the top so where so did you start doing music in chicago yeah that's, i really started in chicago like you know what i'm saying i really started doing my thing when i was like i would say like in, like in high school you know what i'm saying like i always been doing music since i was a shorty though but like i really really started like really in high school yeah but then i ain't gonna lie like when i moved to minnesota that's when i really like started taking it serious you know okay I, yeah. that's so that i feel that was what i was gonna say so yeah. that feels to me that feels backwards right because chicago has a, like there's already a, mu- a strong music scene there. At first though, that's what I'm saying. Like at first though, like the music scene wasn't really like. Like I, I came out like in like in 2012, and 2012 is when like the peak of Chicago music really started. Yeah. Like as far as like the drill thing or whatever. Yep. So that's why I'm like you know what I'm saying. I basically like took that and like brought it to like Minnesota type of thing. Also, oh, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your fault. Okay, we found a culprit. We found a culprit. <laughs> we found a guy that brought it here. Cause that you know I'm sure you've heard that. Being from Chicago, originally from Chicago, and being here, and I'm sure you've heard it as well. Being from here, that Minnesota artists try to emulate Chicago artists. Exactly. What do you What do you think about that? I mean, I feel like every I feel like every city got their own they own little they own little trenches. You know what I'm saying? Story behind it. But like, I do feel like Chicago really influenced like the world. If you ask me, you know. Cause like I feel like Chicago was one of the main cities that like pioneered that. You know, like the the whole drill thing with everybody. This and the, the ops in the song, you know how that go, and the yep. guns. And I feel like Chicago really pioneered that, you know what I'm saying, on the drill scene. And I feel like every, every other city just kind of like, oh, they, if they doing it, you know what I'm saying, we could talk about our struggles and our trenches and our sure. music the way they doing it, you know? Yeah, no, I agree with you. What, so I'm, what about your perspective being from Minnesota? Like, what do you think about that? So I ain't going to cover. I feel like Chicago did put an impact on like Minnesota with their music and type yeah. shit. Do you think, because people talk about it like it's a bad thing. But I, to me, like you said, like there's... I ain't gonna lie, it ain't no bad thing to it. Uh, shit, I be seeing seeing all these artists grind and shit. So it's like, shit, you can't tell them to stop doing what they doing. Shit, that's what they like to listen. To. That's music. You feel me? It's a genre. That's it's art. Honest. Period. It's art. Yeah. So you can't tell a person to stop doing what they doing at the end of the day. So if a person gonna want to emulate Chicago music, then shit, let them do it. Yeah, I mean we've seen it. We watched it happen decade after decade. You know what I mean? Like I remember when you know I'm a little older, so I remember when. New York sort of started to emulate the West Coast a little oh, bit. Bro. You know oh, what I mean? God. And now you see New York emulating the drill shit. Like yeah. and doing it well, to be honest. Like I, I like a lot of the like I like a lot of this I like the drill sound the New York drill sound. It but they but New York did take did find a way to like twist it a little bit yeah, yeah, and make it I their know. own. Yeah, because they should do way different though. So. Yeah, it is different. It is different. Like I the feel like New York. Think about it though, cause I've been I, I've been I've been following the drill scene for a long time, especially like one of the person that really grew up around like you know what I'm saying the originator of the drill. Like New York, they kind of had like that UK. I don't know if y'all like like that that, that, that sure. UK drill. Yep. They kind of like put that UK drill mixed with a little Chicago with their own little flavor in that's it. And I feel like that's how they basically made theirs. I feel like you know what I'm saying. They, I feel like at the end of the day, 
pretty much everybody branch off everybody else's like you know like everybody like okay I, I, I like what they doing I like what they doing how can I make that style my own you know yeah so I feel like that's what like a lot of like cities do like they 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 look at somebody else if you think about it like Atlanta had it for the dreads and everything. Atlanta really started the dread, the dreadhead movie. Like when, like, like when uh, Waka Faka came out, yep. he had that dread and gold song and everything else. Like, yep. I feel like, yeah, Chicago, like, oh shit, dreadhead. You know, you see Wayne, dreadhead. And, and next thing you know, the whole Chicago got dreads now. Like, I feel like every city look at what another city doing and be like, oh shit, how can I, how, how can I imitate that but make that my own, you know? Yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah. You're right, and the, you're definitely right about the UK shit too. Yeah, and that UK drill shit is hard. It is. I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna lie. I can't understand nothing they said. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> they told them. <laughs> they be going crazy yeah. though. <laughs> my old, my oldest, my oldest son. He's 16. He loves that shit. Yeah, he man. puts me. He puts me on the shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Like, yeah, no, their, their shit is hard for sure. Um, okay, so you've been. What was like the biggest? Inf- who was the biggest influence on you? The biggest influence on me. I said, like, the biggest influence, like, like far as, like, music-wise? Yeah. But shit, just, what was the reason you decided to pick up a mic? Real? I ain't gonna lie. I been. I used to always do this, like, me and my brothers and shit. Like, we used to always do this, like, for fun. Like, you know, like, it, it was never, like, something that, like, and when I was a shorty, I really took serious. And I, like, took serious. Like, I didn't think that, like, I can I can make something out of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but, I mean, you said 2012. 2012. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, 20, you had You had real, like... And like hood it, legends it's, becoming millionaires. Exactly, and, it, and it's crazy part about it is like I went to school with like majority of like half of them, like 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 little baby and little Herbie. Like I went to grammar school with them. You know what I'm saying? And wow. like far as like the, the whole little FBG Duck and them, like you know what I'm saying? Like I grew up around that group. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Like my my crowd and my hood was you know what I'm saying? Grew up around their hood. So like it's crazy to think that like when I moved to Minnesota or whatever, like that scene just started popping. I'm like, damn, like, and I was always cold with it. Like, like every time I, I come outside, like, all my guys know me for rapping. Like, I always was, like, the rapper, you know what I'm saying, in my neighborhood. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, like, and, like, when I think, like, damn, like, if I would have took that shit serious and probably would have stayed, you know what I'm saying, I could have I could have potentially been, would have been, you know what I'm saying, up there with them, you could've feel me? part of that. You that feel movie. me? Yeah. yeah, so it's like, it's crazy, it's crazy to like, to, like, think about that shit, but it's like, I ain't gonna lie, like, when I start seeing, like, like folks I went to school with start taking off with this shit. Yeah, I'm like, damn, let me start take this shit serious. That's why when I when I moved to Minnesota, I started doing my little music thing. You know, so I had looked up with this uh this guy named U City or whatever, and uh, he was doing his music or whatever. He from Chicago too, and he wound up you know what I'm saying showing me the ins and outs and the ropes of the other music in, in Minnesota. And yeah. like I was, I did my first show out here, had my real first studio time out here type shit. So like, I don't know, man. Okay, so what? So how about so like moving forward? How do you guys plan to attack? The music game in Minnesota. Shit, I just want to be like, I want to be like different. Like, even though like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see like the drill scene and everything else. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I started off, when I was like, I consider myself like all oh, a drill rapper. But now I'm just, I consider myself as an artist. You feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna make whatever, whatever I feel like I need to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like whatever I can really put myself out there with. Whether if it's like pain music. Whether if it's like love songs, like whether if it's like, you know what I'm saying, trap shit, like everything I'm talking about is like my life though. Everything that I've been through or I have been through, you know? Yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna be different. Like that's why every video I do now, I put more creativity art into it, you know? Yeah. I would love to get both of y'all's takes on what seems to be a growing conversation about lyrics being used against specifically rappers, if we're being real. In oh, for sure. court documents and shit like that. Like, what do you what are your thoughts on that? On like court documents? I mean, yeah, you see it happening. I mean, you see whole we, we see the whole Rico situation. Yeah, man. and they're using all you know shit that Thug has said in music right. against them. Like what? And and I've had conversations on this show with people that you know I had we had uh, we had probably four or five artists come up here saying that they had lyrics read back to them in court sessions. Yeah. I mean. What are your thoughts on that? Dude? I ain't gonna lie, though. like somebody that like experienced that shit. Like I ain't gonna lie, though. Like that shit really woke me up, though. Cause like especially like when I was a shorty, when I was when I first started, like and I was on probation stuff like that. Like I would, I would like use like rap certain shit or have certain shit in my videos, and then like I would have like my PO come back to me like, yo, you know I seen that what the band, you know you can't be doing that. So like I ain't gonna lie, like when that when it first started happening, I'm like, oh shit, like this shit really real. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? You think like it's freedom of speech, but at the same time, though, it's how you say what you say, man. You just can't get on there and get the rabbit. You feel me? Get the rabbit all type of shit. What do you think about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. I feel like to be honest, like I said, music is an art. So if you gonna put your, uh, you feel me, artists like to put themselves out there. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I feel like shit. I'm finding cases right now. I ain't even finna tell you what the fuck. 
that I'm doing. I ain't gonna let them know because at the end of the day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that shit to happen to me. So. so if you're fighting cases right now, are you being careful about what you say in your music? Yeah. 100%. And so th- that's got to feel kind of bad, don't it? it? it like you can't bad, say what you, you want to say. But at the end, of the, yeah, the shit. At the end of the day, what I do is shit. I'll tell you about some shit, but I ain't gonna tell you how what the fuck going on. So you won't give specifics. No, I ain't gonna give. Because you know, more. there's I found I, so having these conversations, I found out that the law about the laws in Minnesota, specifically yeah, they, in Minnesota. I ain't gonna cap though. The police in Minnesota janky as fuck. But bro. there is a law written into Minnesota law about promoting violence. So if you're yes, yeah, so if you're going through a court battle where you've committed or are accused of committing a violent crime, they can use your lyrics to present to the court about you talking about violence and call it this is promoting violence. So I didn't know this. I assume, like you said, freedom of speech, right? You can say whatever yeah, you want, yeah, right? Yeah. Which I think you should be able to. That's, you grew up, that's all you used to hear. My mom would be like, it's freedom of speech. You say whatever the fuck you want to. See, that's how I grow. So I grow saying whatever I want to. Yeah, as we hey. grow, as we grow older, you find out more and more <laughs> that sh- there ain't no real freedom of speech. That shit is not for real. Like that oh, is not. Bro. They they preach that, but it is not. I mean, you're seeing like the thug's been in jail for he over been, a year. Oh God, for a good ass minute, ain't even going lie. That was, it's been a good ass minute since thug's been. I out. think he's gone. He'd be out if they didn't have nothing on him. He'd be out. I think he's gone, man. I think. Oh, um, I ain't gonna. I couldn't say that because they did the same shit to YW Melly too. Isn't he still gone? Yeah, but shit. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> shit he still hey, ain't on me either. I ain't gonna lie though. That man, I ain't gonna lie. That man Thug was giving like specifics in his lyrics though, like yeah, exactly what the hell we we don't say going on. Like, but didn't Melly literally make a song about exactly killing his homies? His friends, <laughs> and, like it was specific. Oh, blah, I looked into his eyes and told him, you know what I'm saying, shit like yeah. that. Like, bro, he got too specific with that one. I man. put him in the trunk of my Chrysler license, exactly. license plate exactly. was three one zero. Like, bro, exactly. oh, oh wait, man, exactly. you gotta relax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That so that is the one thing that I will say is like, <laughs> I I think I'm not a rapper, but I have a suggestion. I have a recommendation. I think y'all should start fighting your cases in your in your music. <laughs> start talking about what you didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you if you're fighting the case right now, you gotta go record a song. Like here's what I did not do. Like just counter that shit and then have your lawyer present it. Like no, see you can see right here, Exhibit A, Your Honor. Exactly. Listen to the lyrics in this song. He said he did not do he that. Did not do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a man, it's a it's an ugly world, and I and it's clearly is pinpointed towards rappers. Yeah. Which I think, I mean, it just, it's another, I'm going to get so much shit for this, I'm sure, but it's just another example of fucking the, our, the government having racism rooted deeply in it. You know what I mean? Like, it's still, it's still like that. Yeah. Like, anybody that thinks that we're, like, I think as a society, I think we are growing and getting better, but governmentally, it's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. And they, you know, they scared, they scared, they scared of when, like, when one person got too much power to influence a lot of people, they scared of that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? If you got somebody that can really tell, like, say, Finch, like, you got some artists that they can, they can promote violence and they can, and they can, and they can commit and how these people go out there and commit these type of things. Yep. So imagine somebody that can promote the right message and yep. get to these, you know what I'm saying, these younger generations to, to, you know what I'm saying, unify instead of, you know what I'm saying, going yeah. against each other. They scared of that shit. Come on, man. So are, are you, do you tiptoe a little bit in your music as well? Yeah, yeah, I try to. Like, I try to I try to reach back, you know what I'm saying, and say, like, real shit, too. Like, I ain't just on some all go out, slide, do it. I ain't yeah. with all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with promote. I'm promoting, you know what I'm saying, making money, positivity, man. At the end of the day, I'm still giving you what I've been through. I'm, I'm still telling you what I'm capable of doing. But at the same time, I mean, I ain't on that, man, go out. And pop perk thirties and go and saying slide on shorty. I ain't, I'm trying to I'm trying to promote like a different message. You feel me? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So then, okay. So on that same note, wh- what are your thoughts on you know? We see, I feel like we see a new story every day about did this person is this snitching is this not snitch like snitching has become pop culture. Yeah, that's cr- <laughs> bro. That's cr- snitching. The snitching conversation is pop culture now. You see it every day. There's a new a new conversation about. Sn- about snitching, right? Like yeah. we got the whole six nine is heavy in the news again because he finally got his ass whooped, yeah, hands and feet put on. Yeah, his you know what I'm saying. We got we got gu- we got gu- we got gunna gunna in the news because of the shit that he said. Yeah. We got the Ti versus Boosie shit now because of the shit the Ti said. Like this is shit is becoming pop culture. So I'm curious, like your perception on. Okay, let's just go with this one. Is Ti a snitch? 
for telling on his dead cousin. I mean, that's what I, I be seeing that conversation a lot, man. But at the end of the day, is though, like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't feel like it's snitching, but I feel like at the end of the day, is state fences. Me, me and my boy do something, right? Yep. And you know what I'm saying? And let's say I get killed or whatever. This down the third. Like, bro, put that shit on me, bro. Like, what more can they, can they do? I'm dead. Yeah. If it's a chance, you can go out and be free, man, and then do your thing, bro. I'm dead, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like. Like a lot of people gonna feel like, oh, that's snitching, that's dry snitching. Who had to bend at the end of the day? You still, but I mean, I mean, like, like why go down for something that 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 I if, if I did it for sure, like, bro, fuck it. If you, if you can be free, bro, I'm dead and gone, bro. What, what they gonna do? Prosecute me in the afterlife? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you're essentially saying you exactly what Tip said. That's exactly. exactly what he said. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, I, I agree. I agree with you on that. The only thing that I will say, the only argument that I'll get, that I'll and again, I'm a civilian. I'm I don't follow. I mean, I do I do so, uh, to a certain level because of this job. Follow. A, a code you know what i mean i got to be careful i don't want to i don't want to get anybody in trouble or hemmed up or anything like that but you know and i'll never tell on anybody but what i will say is there is aftermath because if let's just use tip for instance right okay so he he puts the charges on his dead cousin right yeah it don't affect his cousin his cousin's gone right but it might affect his cousin's family members it might affect, you know, let's let's say, you know, I hope not, but let's say his cousin has a son that's kind of just getting into he's got a he's got a one foot in the streets. Is that gonna affect him in the streets now? You know what I mean? Is there get back now because of that? Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like there is there's aftermath. Like there's people that he left behind that it could affect. And who knows? And like, you know, maybe he's married and his wife don't want it. Her, her dead husband out here looking like he's a, you know what I mean? I, so yeah. I, I don't really know, but I guess. But see, the thing is with me, though, like, you know what I'm saying, how you put that in that perspective, but I feel like as a man, like, at the end of the day, like, we know we we, we getting ourselves into. Like, you know when you in the streets, bro, like, everybody is a target, bro. Like, you got to you gotta realize that, like, it could be chances, just like in Chicago, how you hear sad stories about, you know what I'm saying, people, kids get, you know what I'm saying? Yep killed or whatever because they the, the fathers in that street life like you gotta know like what you risking in this shit you know what I'm saying like yeah. you gotta know if I jump into the streets if I start a war with buddy them down the street it's a chance that they gonna retaliate and they they see me in my car I got tenant windows I can have all, all my children in my car they don't give a fuck about that all they can just oh that's that nigga car right there you know what I'm saying and this yeah. that and the third you know what I'm saying you gotta think about everything is a risk every time yeah. you walk out the house it's a risk you know what I'm saying so I feel like why put yourself or your family in that situation if you can't take the consequences that come behind that? You feel me? But it also, but but yeah, but you're all, but like you said, you're also now you're signing up your loved ones too. Exactly. You know, you, you might have babies. They ain't signing up for that. Exactly. And now they're exactly. and now they're targets just because you might be with them. So yeah, bro, it's 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 ugly shit. And it, I mean, yeah. Oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you right about that shit. I ain't finna, that's like me saying I'm finna jump into this shit, boom, boom, then get mad because somebody's shooting at me. I signed up for that shit. I know what the fuck going on. I know what the fuck I'm capable of and I know what the fuck I done did to this shit. Yeah, I mean, man, it's a complicated, sticky world, man. And a lot, and I think a lot of people get into it just because, like you said, that's. that's a, lot of, a lot of times, though, like, and like a lot of times, like speaking from experience, like, you know what I'm saying, when you grew up in that environment, you know what I'm saying. At that time, at that present moment, that's all you know, cause that's all you see, that's all you grew up around. Like if you got, if you got folks influence you to here, man, here, take this pack, man. You know what I'm saying? Go make some money, bro. Or damn, little homie, you out here with, with no with no with, 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 with no pole on you? Here you go, shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like if you around that as a young age, like you get exposed to that environment, and that environment, you know what I'm saying? Can all can it, like the outcome is is fucked up. Like they don't tell you, they don't tell you that. Oh man, if you do this, this is gonna happen. If you do that, this is gonna happen. It's just saying that everything is cool. That's like how rappers they promote this shit to these young kids. Yeah, they think it's cool. It's cool to ride around with a gun, shit, buddy. Doing it, it's cool to pop perk thirties. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, buddy? You know what I'm saying, buddy? Yeah. Talking about it, but they don't say about the consequences of this shit. You ride around with a gun, you can get locked up, shorty, for a long time. You ride around with a gun, you can be targeted by the police and get shot, or you or a, a buddy down the street can shoot you for because you targeted. You feel me? Yeah. They don't tell you all this, bro. They don't tell you all. You pop these pills, it's a chance that oh. You could you, you could take fentanyl all the overdose and and now you you know what I'm saying you you a memory now you know what I'm saying sure. all yeah. all you think is oh I'm trying to look cool in front of everybody else because the next person talking about it making it look cool you know what I'm saying yeah it's a, it's really a gift and a curse because on one hand I mean we could agree rap music is probably the most influential thing on yes, the planet sir. 
It influences sure. ev- everything. I, I mean, hip hop, black culture, mm-hmm. inter- it, it literally is in ev- like everything, everything. Like there's probably some dude out in fucking Indiana that puts on his KKK mask every single night. And in some way, I promise you, he's influenced by black culture and probably doesn't even know it. Like it's the most influential thing on the planet. Like for real, real shit. I mean, it's it, for real. He, uh, maybe it's how he's putting the putting the the, the hood on. And he's got, got a cocked a little bit or something. You know, there's something like there's something to like everything. Like black culture makes the world move, yeah. which is phenomenal, right? But at the same time, like you said, that means the shit is cool, right? Cool, so exactly. so some of that gangster shit is looked at, in, and that's where I feel like, and this has been a conversation that I've been involved in my whole life is can we blame the artists and i don't think that we can i don't think it's fair to blame the artists i think it is the parents it's the parents but that's a slippery slope too these kids you know what, what they want to do you know what i'm saying i just yeah. say good parent yeah i ain't gonna tell you i know why my og a good parent bro she did everything but shit at the end of the day i still chose what i wanted to do you feel me yeah it was, it was this is what i wanted to do i, I didn't want to Everybody into this day be like, hey, gang, you gotta slow down, you gotta do this, do that. Nah, it's it's my life. I'm, I'm gonna write the book how I wanna write it. I'm not gonna let you tell me what to do. Even though, even though I know some of the shit she told me, right as fuck, but at the end of the day, I gotta take, I gotta make a mistake to learn from it. How old are you? I'm 21. So you're young. Young as hell, yeah. Young. I mean, I mean, yeah. So I mean, you got, there's, you have, you have, uh, what is it, frontal cortex growing to do still. Like your mind is still yeah, forming. Still, yeah, still you know what I mean? So, but the fact that you're acknowledging that you know that. Yeah, I ain't gonna catch to you. I, I make mistakes, and I'm at the end of the day, I, I gotta live with it. Not my mom, not, not none of them people that are, you feel me. So, at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing with it. Yeah. So that's why I say shit. Maybe like you, young, I understand that. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's a benefit to you. I didn't mean to say that like as a knock. I think that's oh, a, no, that, you, that's a major yeah, benefit. Yeah. Like you being twenty one, that means that you got you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of growth left in your life. A lot oh, of God. shit left to do. So please do that. <laughs> please continue to grow. You know what I'm saying? Please continue to do that. Um, okay, so Ti is not a rat. Can we agree? He's not a rat. I agree, man. Oh, no. I ain't gonna cut. I ain't. Ti, shit, I grow listening to Ti. Either way, Ti not a rat. They he does some. He he annoys me though. <laughs> Hey, he be having some big ass words, man. I be in that motherfucker. What he just say? I just don't like the. I don't like. I don't like the way he defends himself. That paperwork party was wild. He was in a weird saloon, waving paperwork around at people, and I, that shit was mad. Like because of Boosie Lee, who cares, man? Oh, bro. Who cares? And and honestly, bro, you're how many M's up? That's what I'm saying. You let it go. Old, you old as shit. You were supposed to be chilling late yeah. back. Fuck that nigga shit. Let Let's it go, this. man. Just like you did your dreads. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> let, it, let it go. Let it go, man. Okay. So, um, so what? Are, what are y'all working on musically? What are you guys working on? Are you guys working on singles projects? What's the plan? I feel like singles is the move, but some oh, people, yeah, yeah, some people like to go projects. Oh, we got a project coming, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, Quan Quan, my boy EJ, man. We got a, some, some, a couple of projects coming, man. And my boy uh, Stang and Chapo. So like, I ain't gonna lie, like I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like really make my mark in it. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like at first starting off, like, you know what I'm saying? You go through shit and it's like, you know what I'm saying? You do the same shit over and over again, you get the same results. So now it's like, nah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at the drawing board now. Like, okay, what, what I gotta do different now? To really stand out now, so like now I'm trying to like really let every my my, my visual speak for itself, and I'm trying to really come up come up with, with visions and like creativity, I, like ideas, yeah, to make like the like the viewers like damn like that video cold as hell, like like even if the song not raw to them, they like damn that video raw as hell, like you, you know what I'm saying? Life. You feel me yeah. exactly? Like that's all I'm on right now. So right now, shit, you know what I'm saying? Working my you know what I'm saying? My young boys, man, I'm trying to you know what I'm saying? Help them out, you know what I'm saying? Show them. Creativity way too. You know what I'm saying? I hope we can really do this shit. You know? Yeah. Are you yeah, the OG yeah. of the group? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Big so thirty, man. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. I, you know, what I'm saying, I'm trying to make sure, like you said, little bro got a got a good head on this show. Is learning. Yeah. Man. I'm trying to really like, you know, what I'm saying, show them it's, it's it's other shit to this. You feel me? Then this sure. street shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really let's take these lyrics, man, and and put and, and paint a picture with this. You know? Yeah. For sure, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, cautionary tales. Yeah, that's exactly. what I like. That's that's exactly. personally what I like in music. I used yeah. to be different when I was 21. I like. I want look. If you talk about it, 
I better see a video or hear a story about you doing it too. Oh but now, now I'm different. Now, now that I'm older, like I don't. <laughs> I want to hear the cautionary tales. I want to hear about the shit that you did, yeah, or the shit that you've been through. I don't want to hear about. I don't need to see. Do I don't need shit. to see no 35 year old millionaire rapper out here shooting at anybody. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Like, what are you? Do- <laughs> what are you doing? Like, that is not. You are up way too much to be out here doing oh, street bro, shit. To be out here still trying to slap. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be I mean, telling people like, like when I like my older people and stuff. Like, bro, you too damn old, bro, to be doing this shit you're doing, gang. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, bro, and about specifically like on topics like from, that. People get addicted to that shit. I know, but like, shit, you know me. I'm from out here, so it's like I will be seeing certain people too do this shit. Like, bro, now nah, you too old, gang. Calm down. It ain't even worth it. It's anymore. a real addiction, though. People can re- legitimately get addicted to the streets. You see it happen, bro. You've seen, you've seen, we've seen, like, Pac became a gangster after he became a millionaire. He wasn't a gangster before that. Yeah, he was in ballet and doing art school, like. <laughs> oh, bro. And then the second he signed to death row, he put that red rag on and he and was. Bang. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you, and we see it happen. I mean, we see it happen with a lot of, a lot of artists become that after they get up. And so I don't, people are addicted to that shit. Shit, not me, shit. When I get up, shit. What do you say? I don't, I don't know who them niggas is at that point. Yeah, got, that's what I'm saying. Get out, get out. That's what we should all be trying to do is get up. Yeah, yeah, get up. have an older dudes, man, that's like 40 years old, be on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, Washington, Chicago, shit, and they just be on, on Instagram, you know what I'm saying, act like they know what's going on in the city, like, yeah, we walked the band, you know what I'm saying, I be like, damn, bro, you like 40 years old, arguing with a motherfucker that's like 14 right now, bro, like, damn. You could just say, you could just say whack 100. <laughs> I mean, whack you 100. just say his name, hey, for I mean. Real, it be, for real, you niggas, like, I'm telling you, they, they know, they know what's, what's going on in the city, man, because they, they tapped in with a few motherfuckers in the city, man, they think they, they know what's going on, really, like. That should be crazy to me, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That <laughs> shit looks really corny to me. I mean, I'm I'm almost forty myself. So yeah, like, you damn four years old. Right, well, nigga, that's like 21, 22. Like, come that's on, crazy. bro. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm never doing that. <laughs> I'm never. I'm never doing that. I was never doing that to begin with, but I'm not. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I I can't ever look. <laughs> I mean, people people been inviting Wack 100 outside for five years now. You know, it, that, 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 nigga, that nigga gonna learn his lesson, boy. You can't tell Wack 100 nothing, boy. That's that nigga a bug, bro. I'll be on, I'll be, I'll be watching the clubhouse, bro. He be in that bitch bugging, bro. I'm like, damn. He's figured out a way to make money off it, though. Exactly. Yeah. It's instigate shit. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> All right. So y'all working on you're working on projects. You work got albums coming. Work coming. You're working on visuals. Are you, are you shooting with anybody specific? Hell yeah, my boy. Uh, Ayo Production, man. Ayo? The coldest okay. one in the city right now. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Like I ain't gonna cap. Like bro, when I network with bro, like. Real talk, like he come prepared, man. Like I give him my idea, my vision, and yeah. then he'll just pitch on with it. Like, all right, cool. Let's 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 make your vision, like bring it to life. Like you know what I'm saying? He add like cold ass details to it. Like I ain't gonna lie, like y'all real like looking for a videographer, man. Y'all gotta type in with yo, man. Ain't no, I'm telling you, I gotta type in with that boy. Yeah, we got a lot of really great shooters. Yeah. Out here. He's definitely on that list. Yeah, he's bro. definitely on that list. Yeah, he the fast one. I swear to God, bro. This man so cold, bro. Bro, we shot the video, bro, like at five o'clock, bro. By the time, by the time we make it back to the uh to motherfucking man Kato, bro, which I dropped, bro, off. I dropped my girl off. He like, oh yeah, bro, the video done. I did the video done. He's gonna he's gonna hate you for saying that. Cause not everybody's gonna expect that. You just put so much, okay. just hey, put well, so much pressure. Hey, my bad, hey, yo, man. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. That, that hey, I'm telling you, he do that on multiple occasions, bro. Like I'm telling you, I be like, damn, bro. So the tur- so the tur- the turnaround is quick. Oh, I know. I'd be, I'd be mad as fuck. It take you like five days to do a video, bro. What is you doing? You feel me? At least take two. I give you two days. You feel me? Two days on limit. So I could do if you recording videos and you take more than two days. You gotta, I mean, you gotta, I mean, shit, it better listen. It better be raw because if it ain't raw, you wasting my time doing that. Two days, okay. <laughs> but this is why I think this is why I think it's important to build up your con- your content catalog before you start going. Because if you get into, let's say, somebody signs you tomorrow for a million dollars to Sony Records, you're gonna be shooting with some big dogs, right? Yeah. And and the, and the label's gonna be paying for your shit. You ain't getting that video back in two days. You might not get get video back for five months. 
but I know it's gonna be raw. You feel me? That's saying You feel me? I know they got their cameraman already. He's already cold, so off the jump, they're not gonna hire no weak ass cameraman that's gonna shoot. I mean, that that might be true, but I'm just saying like this is something that you got to prepare for. If you want to make it into the industry, then you got to prepare for the fact that like a lot of these artists, man, they like if Beyonce drops an album with a visual. That visual was probably shot six months ago, and she's just been waiting on it till the album is done to roll it out. So that's why I think there's importance in building a catalog before you hit the gas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think having 50 songs in a tuck ready to go, having six visuals in a tuck ready to go, and yeah. then start rolling shit out. You know what I'm saying? So it's already there. You're not waiting. You're not waiting for two days to get your video that you want to drop. Like, have it already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if you're shooting a video tomorrow, don't plan on releasing that bitch for a month. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It's, you can sit on videos. That's this what it is, too. You can sit on the videos. But, like, waiting wise, shit. You want that quick turnaround? Shit, I'm not the same. Hey, yo, said, shit, I don't give a fuck. Hey, two days. <laughs> he <laughs> says, you got two days. <laughs> fuck what Jake's talking about. You got two that video. You got, y'all got two days. You heard him? You hear me? Two days. That's two it. Days. You got two days. Shit. I seen. Hey, hey, yo, did that shit in a, an hour or two, you feel me? <laughs> hey man, well shout out to Ao man, and we oh, gotta get him bro. up here. We gotta get him up here too. Yeah, yeah, get my um, boy Ao up here, man. Yeah. So we gotta wrap, but before we wrap, um, give them any people any information you want them to have. Tell them where to follow you, where to find you, where to stream your music, all that. Man, y'all look me up, man. On IG, man, King Ryder the Great, man. I'm on iTunes, man, TikTok, whatever, man. You know. Y'all can follow me on Instagram. underscore live blush on D2D. Okay. And music, just keep an eye out, right? Music coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh bro. I ain't going to lie. Hong Kong coming with some shit. King Roddy coming with some shit. Flooding the block. Oh, bro. And my dog right. EJ coming with some shit. All right, man. I got nothing else for you, man. I appreciate you guys. This is a great sure. conversation. Yeah, I'm glad we could do it. Boy, for That's sure. it. Another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show live on Lake Street. I'm Jake Faircloth. Follow me everywhere at Jake Faircloth one it ain't that I can't stop, it's that I won't stop I made a few plays off a of flip, now I'm on top I'm Southside Chief, homie, Yeah. what you know about it? Lake Street legend CEO, not the co-founder What you wanna know about me? I'm so churched up, I'm the last man standing But I went first up, most hated They don't say it when I roll up The things that people say about me, they don't say close up Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Jeez. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yo. Who makes him the chief for the south side? Oh, my nigga, I'm not a lieutenant. Stop. When I was in the gym, you wasn't in it. Uh -huh. Face time, so my see. windows is tinted. Yeah. If I said that shit, then I meant it. Niggas gave me the rules and I banked it. Fact. Same, same nigga that was trapping while I was suspended. Ooh. You wasn't in them hallways banging, boy, you wasn't in it. Ooh. Really a genuine nigga, homie, don't get offended. From East Lake, South Murder. I'm just it ain't that I can't yeah. stop. It's that I won't stop. Yeah. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't say it ain't that I can't stop It's that I won't stop I made a few plays off a of flip Now I'm on top I'm Southside Chief, homie What you know about it? Southside Chief, homie Now what you know, look I'm Southside Chief, homie What you know about it? Lake Street legend CEO Not the co-founder What you wanna know about me?